Dear Diary, my heart has held an emptiness in the days, weeks, and months since I last looked at my love. Torn away, I've written each day to cope. I've been given letters from the clan, but no answer for this research that my love's blood holds. I would be a fool to fight my way through despite my anger, but if the ancestors of my family have taught me well, don't throw yourself into the fire and complain it's hot. I've done a pretty good job at keeping the garden flowing and building new wards around our home, but it's empty without them. I've spent too many nights crying over them and hoping that eventually they'll be returned home. However, I... Oh. Well, I guess end of chapter for now. Coming! Hello, can I help? Oh, it's you. A messenger. From the clan, got it. Do I dare ask? Any updates? Missives? Anything? Uh, what? You want me to go to the clan's settlement. <laughs> Do you think I'm a fool? Your people would rip me apart on sight if I dare invaded their stronghold. Uh hmm? You're doing me a kindness. For what reason? Hmm? My mate isn't cooperating with your people. Really? Shocking. What did you expect, messenger? That my wolf would be pleased to wake up and realize you've taken them against their will? Torn them away from their partner? Listen, I don't want to fight anymore. That clash in the rain was... A disaster and has left me pained from that experience. I had no more energy left in me and you took them away. What do you want with me? <gasps> no. You're you're allowing me to go see them? Why? Hmm. I see. Because they won't shift into their human form in order to get a human-sized vein to extract their blood? I'm sorry. Why couldn't their wolf form do it? Ah, I see. Too much heat in the blood. Not viable enough for a calm and steady extraction. Yep. Got it. Okay. I'm game. But, I'd appreciate it if you would be my personal escort. I'm sure your people would frown and growl at me the moment I walk through the front door. Good. Let's go. Uh, do you see that large gate? They're not going to let me in. I can assure you, I... I wasn't expecting that. I figured they would just tell me to get lost and don't come back. Well, all right. Let's head on into the settlement. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. I thought it would be a much harsher tone the people would give me. <laughs> you say they respect me now? For a little mage like me. Oh, really? <laughs> Your people didn't expect a puny human like me would fight them. Well, when you love someone, you'd want to protect them, regardless of origin. Enough. I tire of this conversation. I didn't come here for a cup of tea, and I don't think they would even offer me one. 
just point me to where my mate is. They're in there? A bunker? Okay. Wait outside for me. Yes. You wait outside. Problem with that? No? Good. I'm heading in. Don't let anyone inside. This is, this is definitely not a bunker. This is a jail. Prison, for goodness sake. My gosh, where are they? Hello? Is anyone here? Love? It's Clover. I'm here. I, <gasps> love? My dear, is that you? It's me. It's me. Yeah. Shh. Just breathe. 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 There you are. Oh my god. It's you. It's been too long. Far too long. Oh my god. Goodness, they tied and shackled you up against the wall? Ugh, I can't with these barbaric practices these people have. Oh my gosh, your body is all bruised. Why didn't they heal you? Because you refused any medicine they offered. I understand, but it hurts me to see you like this. Have they been feeding you? Ugh, oh, typical. Well, before I left home, our home, I baked a small apple pie, like what we would do in the spring. But you're tied up, so I'll just spoon feed you the pie. How does it taste? <laughs> just like you remembered. Oh, I'm dying to get back to those days and just forget this. All of this. The pain, the hurt, seeing you transform with rage and me trying to, trying to do anything. Huh? There's something you have to tell me? You're crying. Why are you crying? You, you want me to leave? What? F find somebody else. What foolishness escapes your lips? F forget you. How can I? How can I forget the love of my life? How can you say there's no future anymore? Because those people say so? This isn't you. <laughs> this isn't to protect me I can take care of myself I promise you I'm not that sheepish mage so long ago we've come too far to look back now they'll kill me if we don't part and that would kill you I have a better understanding it's not because you don't love me anymore you're pushing you're pushing me away to save me well I've always been the person to see something through to the end I still hope for us and deep down so do you as well you promised yourself to this clan but they've taken the most important thing about you your heart They'll crush you and shape you into a beast of warfare. They've stolen that from you. And who I am speaking to is not my wolf. I can't stay in that home anymore if you're not there. That home was supposed to be our paradise. 
we were going to live out our days there, maybe start a family, have our own life. I will put an invisibility spell on the house so no one will see it but myself. Where am I going? I can't give you that answer. I know they're listening to every word we're saying. But the wolf I know recognizes my scent. That'll be your key if you still have faith in us. I'll always love you. But you're right. We both need distance, time to think about who we are in the future. If there is one. But before I go, just one last kiss. Goodbye, my wolf. I hope that we'll find ourselves and each other again.